Hey everyone, here are three movies you should watch this weekend. Number one, The Wild Robot. This one follows the story of a robot that finds itself in a forest and the robot starts creating relationship with the animals that he finds in the forest or that she finds in the forest. And this film, I remember seeing the trailer and honestly, the trailer of this film was one fantastic trailer. The trailer did not give anything away. Like, I like when a trailer can do that. The trailer just intrigues you, but it does not give away anything from the story. And when I saw the trailer, I saw how it was, I was excited to see it. And I finally saw this movie and man, it exceeded all my expectations. I love this movie so much. It follows the story of this robot, like I said. I've seen this robot as a start bonding with the animals in the wild was something that was done so brilliantly. The robot is stacked with taking care of the baby goose and seeing the relationship between the robots and the ghosts was something that was just so heartwarming. This film explores things of parenting, growth, and self-development. Like, if you watch this film, you'll feel like you're learning something from it. There was a book I read recently about mindset. I can't remember the name of the author. But that book, it talked about growing and having a kind of mindset. And I saw that in this film, and it was just something that made me feel like, wow, this is a film for children, but I am seeing mature things and things that I can relate to in this film. It was done so so well. The story of it is a very very emotional story that pulls on all your heartstrings. Man, I was moved to tears so many times while watching this film. Everything is done right. The score, damn, the score was just so epic and just fits with this world. Anytime you just hear that score, you just feel like something inside you is boiling. Like <laughs> I don't know if that's the accurate um, analogy I should have used, but that's how I just felt. I felt like something inside me was just erupting. And in a very, very good way, the score was brilliant. The voice performances from all the actors. Like, after I finished watching this film and I was seeing the credits, I was like, wow, so it is this person that voiced this character. I don't mention the people that voiced the characters to not spoil it for you, so she enjoyed it the way I enjoyed it. But when I was seeing the names of the actors that voiced these characters, I was like, wow, I did not even hear this actor for once with this character. All the actors just delved into their characters. And these characters are animals and robots. And they delved into the characters and give out fantastic performances. Damn! Everything in this film, the voice performances, the production, the direction, the story, the characters. Whew, everything is so good. Honestly, like I said, this film is the best animated movie I have seen this year. And I saw Inside Out 2 this year. And Inside Out 2 was one very, very marvelous film. But this one just managed to top it. And it was just a fantastic film. It's a story that is kind of original. And man, I enjoyed this movie so much. I could keep on gushing about this film, but I just need you to experience it by yourself. Go watch this film. You will love it. Number two, Sing Sing. This one follows the story of some prisoners that find purpose while in jail by becoming involved with theater arts and making plays. And this film was so beautiful. This film is a drama. It's a very, very emotional drama that makes you happy sometimes, and other times it makes you so sad. And the way this story was told was done in a very, very brilliant way. Like, this film is not a film for everyone, because some people like some films that are fast-paced and have more action sequences. This film does not have all of that. It has very, very deep storytelling and very, very poignant performances, poignant stories, and man, it is a fantastically told story. The performances in this film were some very, very fantastic performances. Koma Domingo is the only actor that I knew in this film. The other actors were real people that were playing themselves while in this prison. Like, I, I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but that's what happened. The people that played these prisoners were actually those people that were those prisoners in real life. Because this story is influenced by real life events. And because those people that played those actors were not real actors, I thought their performances would not be as intriguing. But man, I was so wrong. They delivered fantastic performance, poignant performance, performances that breaks your heart and sometimes just makes you smile from year to year. And this film explores themes of finding purpose, resilience, humanity, and the power of art. These people are people that they've lost their freedom, but they manage to find freedom within themselves and finding purpose in this dire situation. It's just a very, very powerful story. And another thing I liked about this story was that these characters were very vulnerable characters. They were vulnerable in a place that punishes vulnerability. And that thing was just so courageous and brilliant to see. And seeing how some other characters that were kind of skeptical about the whole thing slowly became one with this community was something that was just so beautiful to watch. This film is pure drama. If you're not a fan of drama, you might not enjoy this film. But if you love dramas, dramas that hit you in the chest and make your heart pump faster, then you are going to enjoy this drama. It was very well delivered. 
and a fantastic story. Number three, the substance. This one is an horror film. Maybe not so much horror, but it has horror elements in it. And it follows the story of an actress that has gotten hold and is losing gigs. And because she wants to keep being relevant, she takes a substance that creates a younger, prettier, and better version of herself. And what I got from this film was just unexpected. I did not have any idea what this film was going to be like. I did not see the trailers. I did not hear anything about it. I just went into it blind. And this film just started unraveling. At first, it started out slow. Like, if you're someone that likes something to happen immediately, you start watching a film. You will not get that here. This film builds slowly, slowly, and then it starts unraveling itself into some very, very chaotic shit. Ha! This film, it explores body horror in a very, very unsettling way. Like, when I was watching this film, I made the big mistake of eating. And I was eating, and I saw some things on food, and I was like, what the fuck am I saying? The food was turning to shit in front of me. <laughs> Yo, if you want to watch this film, don't eat anything. Just go into this film and focus on it. Because if you are eating something, you'll see some images that will just make the thing you are eating irritate you so much. I saw some images. And the crazy thing about it is that some of those images, they are not like images that are completely horrific like that. Some of these images are just very random images of things that you see in normal life. Images of people like eating or people cooking. But the way they do it, they do it in a very, very unsettling way. It just makes you just feel so uneasy. I mean, you see some horrific shit because this film, like I said, is a body horror film. You see some horrific things with people's bodies, and yeah, it's going to drive you crazy. But the random things, the everyday things that it made feel unsettling, or something that was done extremely well. The director did a fantastic job doing, bringing all those elements to life. And there's a lot of nudity in this film. When I was watching this film, I was like, why is there so much nudity in this film? I was like. Is the director so horny? I just has to put so many female characters and make them naked in this film. That was the thoughts that was running in my head until after the film, and I found out that it was actually a female director. Then all the nudity just made a lot of sense to me because it's a female director that did all that nudity. I, I feel like it's just exploiting this woman. But the fact that it's a female director that He's using all this nudity, it just adds more to the storytelling. It made me understand the pressures that women face in society. And man, a lot of things were done in this film that are very, very brilliant. If you like body horror, whew, you'll see some very, very horrific shit in this film. And if you like story, you get a very good story with it that explores themes of youthfulness, addiction. Hmm. Addiction was something that was explored in this film that really, really blew my mind. A lot of things worked with this film. The performances were fantastic. The prosthetics, because like I said, there is body horror in this film, but you know that those things aren't real. But the prosthetics just look so realistic that you almost forget that you're looking at prosthetics. They did a fantastic job with the editing and the prosthetics and everything that came together with this film was fantastic. It has been a while I've seen an horror film done like this. And honestly, it was very, very refreshing to watch. If you are looking for an horror film to watch, check this one out. You are going to enjoy it. So those are three movies you should watch this weekend. What movie would you recommend to someone that is looking for what to watch this weekend? Comment below and you might just be helping someone figure out what to watch. If you like this video up until now, like, share and follow me for more contents like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.